A busted frame, a twisted tire, that's what's left after a cyclist is hit by a car in Deer Creek Canyon. New at 10 is 7 News reporter Jacqueline Allen shows us it is just the latest incident involving drivers and cyclists on public roads. So you can see the, the damage there. This Byron Nix's bike is totaled, but after this crash, that's him on the ground, he says it could have been much worse. I got a wife and four kids, you know, and it's like somebody's inattentiveness you know, could take all that away. Sunday morning, he and this group of competitive cyclists were riding on a two-lane road in Deer Creek Canyon. I was in the back of the pack. James Dunkelberger says the driver of this pickup started laying on the horn, yelling profanities, telling them to get off the road. He says they were moving into single file when the pickup accelerated. Came so close to us that he wanted to touch us with this with his side view mirror, um, and he just got too close and took out Byron. Byron Nix had to be taken to the hospital. Troopers say the pickup driver is 72 year old Andrew Hoover, recently making news after his home burned in the Lower North Fork fire. He's President Herbert Hoover's grandson. He wouldn't talk to us on camera, but blamed the cyclists, saying they were riding in a group. Troopers, though, gave Hoover the ticket for careless driving. It appeared that there was no remorse. And, you know, typically if you do that, something like that, you would hope that someone would apologize. Nick says he has months of rehab for his neck and hip, but if the goal was to keep this national champion from riding, it didn't work. I'll still ride. I'll definitely still ride. Enjoy it too much. And that's just the latest car bike conflict here in the front range. You may remember back in September, this video went viral showing an elderly driver honking repeatedly at two cyclists. After that, troopers tracked down that driver and gave him a ticket too. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.